The Bologna-based motorcycle manufacturer, Ducati, becomes the latest company to embrace the XRP ledger for NFTs launching per a Thursday tweet. This development comes as the top brand dives into the world of Web3 to narrate and showcase its legendary journey. Ducati enters the Web3 world with digital collectible program partnered with Web3 Pro Trademark and XRP Ledger showcasing Ducati's history and present, looking towards the future, part of the disclosure read. To provide a new and exciting experience to its motorists and global community, Ducati is set to launch a sequence of NFT collections on the XRP Ledger in partnership with Web3 Pro. Through these immersive digital collectibles, Ducati aims to narrate its storied humble beginnings and its enthralling present and projected exceptional future. The company has kicked a waitlist as it plans to roll out its first free digital collectible today. This limited edition initial release is a video arrangement that reveals the metamorphosis of Ducati logos placed on manufactured motorcycles from 1946 to 2023. To be eligible for this gift, users must register on the waitlist on or before July 27th. XRP community members have expressed immense excitement over this positive development as activities are bound to increase on the XRPL. In turn, the XRP price could appreciate more as the blockchain collects gas fees in its native token. Anthony Welfare, the senior advisor on CBDCs and global partnerships at Ripple, is among those to react to Ducati's adoption of the XRP ledger. According to the Ripple advisor, the development adds to the numerous real-world applications of the decentralized and energy-efficient blockchain. Sam, another community member, noted that NFT's launching is an exciting use case of the XRPL, touching the unique properties of the blockchain. He implied that the XRP ledger would welcome more real-world adoption in the coming months or years. It bears mentioning that adoption of the XRPL has been high in recent months. Notably, the first ever XRPL-based play to mint NFT game, Space Mermaids, launched on the XRP Ledger in June. Likewise, the first ever mortgage-backed stablecoin developed by the RWA protocol landed the XRP Ledger in early July. Please, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. Attorney Jeremy Hogan has joined other top pro-crypto lawyers to comment on the SEC's decision to appeal Judge Annalisa Torres' summary judgment. In a recent tweet, Attorney Hogan said an appeal is the SEC's only ammunition against Ripple in the upcoming settlement conference between the parties. According to Hogan, the SEC has already confirmed that it will appeal Judge Annalisa Torres' decision. As reported, the SEC recorded a partial loss, which saw the judge rule that XRP itself is not a security. Recall that the SEC has hinted at plans to appeal the court's decision. Shortly after Judge Torres issued the decision, the SEC issued a statement saying it is still reviewing the ruling. A few days later, SEC Chair Gary Gensler expressed disappointment over the court's decision on Ripple's programmatic sales. Interestingly, the commission indicated that the summary judgment was wrongfully decided after Terraform Labs and its founder Duquan tried to use Ripple's victory to dismiss the cases against them. It asked the judge presiding over the Terraform Labs case not to rely on Ripple's summary judgment because Judge Torres made a wrong decision. Respectfully, those portions of Ripple were wrongfully decided, and this court should not follow them. SEC staff is considering the various available avenues for further review and intends to recommend that the SEC seek such review, an excerpt of the SEC's filing read. These remarks have stirred speculation that the SEC plans to appeal the decision. Reacting, Hogan said there is no other way to understand the SEC's recent comment aside from the fact that the commission is planning to appeal the decision. Meanwhile, the SEC and Ripple are expected to select three dates for a settlement conference. Magistrate Sarah Nedburn, the judge who ordered the SEC to surrender Hinman's documents, will preside over the conference. As reported, Magistrate Nedburn ordered the parties to select three dates for a settlement conference if they think it is appropriate at this time. Due to the court's busy schedule, the dates need to be chosen at least six to eight weeks in advance. It is worth noting that the parties had previously held two settlement conferences in the past. However, they did not reach a compromise. Some XRP enthusiasts believe the parties will settle this time since the conference is after the summary judgment decision. Meanwhile, Ripple has made it clear that it will only settle with the SEC if the commission declares XRP as a non-security. The blockchain company noted that it would take the case to the Supreme Court if XRP is not declared as a non-security by the SEC. 
At the moment, Judge Torres has already ruled that XRP is not a security, thus giving Ripple the upper hand ahead of any settlement conference. Furthermore, J. Hunter Anson, director of Palau's digital residency program, recently took to Twitter to announce a momentous development for the crypto community, with particular reference to the Ripple community. Anson revealed that the Palau National Treasury Director and a senior engineer and lead project manager from Ripple joined forces to celebrate the successful minting of the very first Palau stablecoin, PSC. The event took place at the national capital in the Rulmu, Palau. Anson emphasized that the PSC launch is a significant step in their collaboration with Ripple as they jointly explore the potential of this stablecoin in specific use cases within the country. Interestingly, this strategic initiative received explicit approval from the Palau Congress, adding an official stamp of legitimacy to the PSC pilot program. It is worth noting that the PSC stablecoin is powdered by the XRP ledger, XRPL. Now to the big question of the day, what are the setbacks that may result from the SEC appealing XRP victory? Please, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. In a recent tweet, Scott Milker, a prominent figure in the crypto space and a renowned Bitcoin proponent, highlighted Ripple's and XRP's victory in the legal battle that the crypto industry has closely watched for nearly three years. Milker argued that the future appears to be on Ripple's side in response to reports indicating that the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, is considering a potential appeal in the Ripple lawsuit triumph. For at least the next two years, appeal and decision, and likely forever, XRP is not a security, Milker remarked. Furthermore, Milker believes that the rationale that cleared XRP's non-security status could apply to most altcoins, freeing them from the regulatory shackles of the SEC. Milker expressed these beliefs after pro-XRP lawyer John Deaton argued that the SEC appealing the court decision is far from a setback to Ripple or XRP. Recall that the U.S. regulatory recently hinted at appealing the recent victory granted to Ripple. Meanwhile, Deaton emphasized that the awaited decision on the appeal would not be made until a considerable two-year time span, courtesy of the Second Circuit. Until then, the prevailing Judge Torres' decision stands as the law. For context, the core of the matter revolves around the interpretation and application of the third Howey factor in the SEC's case against Ripple. While Deaton predicts that the Second Circuit would unlikely fault the judge's application of this factor, he highlights a crucial point. The point is that even if the ruling differed, the SEC's hopes for labeling XRP as a security would not necessarily materialize. Furthermore, the crypto lawyer underscored the significance of the common enterprise factor, which he believes is a formidable challenge for the SEC to surmount, making it a tougher nut to crack than the third factor. Don't let anyone underestimate how significant this win is for XRP and XRP holders and Ripple, Deaton remarked. So we come to the end of this video guys, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, you can help enlighten others just like you have been enlightened by sharing this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news everywhere guys. If you are a true cryptocurrency fan, don't miss any of our content. See you tomorrow to talk about the latest news that concerns us all as a community.